Happening now, the D.C. Council is getting involved in a dispute between nurses and George Washington University Hospital. Many nurses are trying to unionize, but they say the hospital is blocking their efforts. D.C. News Now's Daniel Hamburg is live at the GW Hospital. And Daniel, complaints have been filed with the National Labor Relations Board. Well, Mark, the D.C. Nurses Association filed those charges in late March after a nurse here was fired for what the DCNA says was supporting the union campaign efforts. Now the D.C. Council is getting involved, like you said, and they want the hospital to follow federal law. The D.C. Nurses Association filed a petition with the National Labor Relations Board asking for an election to organize a union on March 15th. We have clear majority support. Executive Director Ed Smith says nurses at George Washington University Hospital are overworked and understaffed and they want respect. For years, um, when nurses tried to raise complaints or tried to get management to help them uh, do their jobs properly, either equipment issues or staffing issues, it fell on deaf ears. About a month ago, he reached out to D.C. Council Chairman Phil Mendelson about what he says is the hospital not following federal law. We started hearing reports about management ripping down signs, uh, spying on people, trying to see who was at union meetings, trying to see who was the union leaders from the nurses. In turn, nine council members signed on to a letter last week calling on the hospital to reinstate nurse Angelo Estrellas, refrain from illegal conduct that violates employees' rights to organize, and hold a fair and free election in a neutral location. To date, um, management continues to violate the law, uh, but the charges are being investigated, and it's just a matter of waiting for the NLRB to hopefully issue a complaint. Now, I did reach out to the hospital and its parent company, United Health Services, for a comment, and they said no comment. We're live in Northwest. Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now. All right, Daniel, the hospital employs about, what, 750 nurses? How soon could there be a vote? Well, Mark, there was a hearing uh, at the NLRB in late April about uh, the potential for an election. We are not sure how long that process will take for the NLRB to order an election, but uh, union leaders are confident that out of those 750 potential union members here at the hospital, that they will win a future election.